Guns N' Roses is suing a combined florist and gun shop. Axl Rose will stop throwing the microphone after a fan was injured. And Guns N' Roses is upset that drones keep disrupting their concerts. These are the weird stories for Monday on Weird AF News, the only daily weird news podcast hosted by a comedian. This is the Guns N' Roses episode. Woohoo! Let's do it. A very famous rock band is suing a combination florist and gun shop. Can you guess what band that might be? Texas Guns N' Roses is the name of a store in uh, what appears to be a very unique business model. Their website offers an array of weapons for sale, including guns, as well as some floral arrangements. Because when you're buying guns, you want some flowers as well for the funeral. Uh, It says here, Guns N' Roses for sale in the same place. Who could have predicted this combination? Well, we have a band here that's pretty upset about it. They probably don't want to be affiliated with real guns or real flowers, for that matter. The beloved 80s rockers, of course, are suing in federal court against the store. The lawsuit is directed at Jersey Village Florist, which is the company running this this online gun and flower arrangement store. The band's lawsuit argues that the business selected and adopted defendant's marks for the purpose of confusing consumers into believing that the ban was actually connected or associated with this store. The lawsuit also addressed the nature of the business itself, stating that Guns N' Roses quite reasonably does not want to be associated with this defendant, which is a firearms and weapons retailer. They do not want to be associated with such things, although they've used a lot of images of firearms in their album art and whatnot. They draw the line when you're trying to make some money off them, I think, is what's going on here. Uh, The article that we have here features a comment from the store's owner, David Clark. He claims, well, nobody thinks we are the band or there is any affiliation with the band. Of course, we're going to fight back on this suit. We'll have to see what the federal court's next move is. Geez, I don't know if this guy's going to be able to win the case. It depends. It's a little odd to sell guns and roses on a website. That that raises eyebrows right there. It's like, why are you really selling flowers too, sir? Are you really making any money off the flower sales? Like, It just seems like a gimmick. And being that it is or could be a gimmick, there seems to be some sort of default affiliation with the band. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. Uh, this reminds me of the time that I was sued by a very famous rock band because I wrote Halen on the side of my van and um, I drove around the neighborhood and they thought I was affiliated with with their band and I was not I just named my my van Halen I thought Halen was a nice name for a van I wasn't selling any merch out the back of it or anything of the sort I have respect for these musical artists I've never been one to try and profit off the backs of them even that time I opened that pager company called page against the machine i wasn't trying to piggyback off the name of that band (laughs) page against the machine (laughs) that's a good one i'm gonna keep that axel rose the singer of guns and roses says he's going to stop throwing microphones into the crowd axel rose is ending a 30 year old guns and roses tradition if you've ever been to a guns and roses show you'll know that it's tradition for Axel to throw the microphone into the crowd when he's done. Uh, Well, Axel Rose recently posted a note on social media saying that he's no longer going to be throwing his microphone into the crowd during their concerts after it came to his attention that a fan may have been hurt at their recent show in Australia. Did you get hit with a mic? In the face, ooh, everybody's hit with a mic in the face. Here's a quote from the lead man. If true, obviously we don't want anyone getting hurt or to somehow in any way hurt anyone at any of our shows anyway. That's a lot of any's I threw in that sentence. (laughs) I'm high. Now, having tossed the mic at the end of our show for over 30 years, we always felt it was a known part of the very end of our performance that fans wanted and we're aware of, you know, they want an opportunity to catch the microphone, but you know, we also 
have to realize that unfortunately there are those that for their own reasons choose to frame their reporting regarding this subject in a more negative and irresponsible out of nowhere light which couldn't be farther from reality really we hope the public and of course our fans get that sometimes these things happen you know wow axel i have no idea what you're talking about there <laughs> are you gonna throw them or are you not gonna throw them he doesn't really commit either way my guess is he's no longer going to throw them into the crowd, and that's unfortunate, because wouldn't you want to come home from a Guns N' Roses show with the actual microphone that Axel used for two hours or however long? I mean, it's got Axel Rose's saliva on it. I mean, if that doesn't get you laid, <laughs> I don't know what will. You want to come over and uh, smoke up and touch Axel Rose's microphone, man? Well, here we have it, guys. Another instance where the no-fun police gets involved in our lives and takes away something that we've all enjoyed for a long, long time. Uh, the butt hurt committee has been heard, and they don't want any more of this fun to go on. The professional offendees, who have probably never even been to a show before, have spoken. And now Axel, I believe, isn't going to do this anymore. What a damn shame. These are the kind of people that would complain that they got hit with some watermelon seeds at a Gallagher show. Rest in peace, Gallagher, by the way. All it takes is one bad apple or one stupid fan who for some reason wasn't looking <laughs> when the show was ending. <laughs> Axel saying goodnight and thanking everybody for coming. And you're just, what, looking at your shoes? What are you doing? <laughs> How does not one person catch the damn mic that hit this person? Someone had to have caught it. So, I mean... I'll tell you right now, I'll climb over people to catch that bad boy. I'm not dropping that for sure. Uh, what do you guys think? Is this a horrible thing or should bands like this discontinue these little fun antics at the end of shows for the safety of the crowd? Call the show 646-450-2012. And don't you cry tonight, girl, you got it with a microphone, baby. You like podcasts? You're listening to my podcast. Maybe you thought to yourself, I'd like to make a podcast. Too difficult. No, not with Anchor. Anchor has free creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast from your phone or your computer. Anchor distributes your podcast to Apple, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. They have advertising integration, so you can even make a little money off your podcast. Everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. And good luck with your podcast. Good luck with your creation. Good luck with your life, man. The lead singer of Guns N' Roses, Axel Rose, is very pissed off that people are flying drones at his shows. Uh, Guns N' Roses recently headlined Metricon Stadium in Gold Coast, Australia. The following day, Axel Rose took to Twitter because he was very frustrated with an unexpected flying interruption during the band's sold-out show. Here's a quote from Axel. Had a few drones this leg. Last night was probably the most intrusive. Was a bit of a distraction, as obviously someone thought it was just okay to be doing that. But also, it came so close in front of the stage. It, it actually was over our stage. You know, according to the police, it happens more often than not lately, especially at sporting events, I've heard. It's not something we're all that used to, I have to admit. A lot of impulse reactions went through everyone's minds that after thinking about it, which when you're live, there's really no time to really sort things out like that, you know... It all just seemed to make no sense at all. And people were pissed, I noticed. However much fun anyone's having, you're still trying to stay focused and do your job and give the fans the best show you can. Anyway, we get it that it can be fun to get your drone bootleg video, but we'd appreciate it if anyone planning to be a drone pirate took the fans and the band into consideration, man. You know, maybe play with your toys somewhere else, all right? Big thank you in advance. Well, I have to say, Axel was pretty calm about it i mean according to the twitter post twitter's usually a place where we go and be mean he was he was pretty chill he's just like i appreciate it if you wouldn't do that anymore i know you want your bootleg drone video which you got to imagine that'd be pretty cool to get a bootleg drone video right above the stage at a guns and roses show how is this even happening there's got to be security around the outskirts of the stadium preventing this and imagine drones though i mean they're really infiltrating our world Wherever you go, you might see a drone. I'd imagine at live events, there's more and more people infiltrating them. I can't afford a ticket to the Rams game. Let me fly my drone and get a 50-yard line view. 
the problem lies in if you don't address it now in the beginning of this movement, it could really get out of control in that you might go to a show and there could be 10 or 20 drones flying around. And that's a huge issue and actually a safety issue, in my opinion, at that point anyways. This article ends with some dates that are left on the Guns N' Roses tour, including Sky Stadium on December 8th in New Zealand, Eden Park in New Zealand as well on the 10th, and then it ends there, I guess. They gave the set list, too, from the show that featured a drone. Here's their set list. It's So Easy, Mr. Brownstone, Chinese Democracy, Slither, Better, Welcome to the Jungle, Reckless Life, Double Talk and Jive, Live and Let Die, Estranged, Shadow of Your Love, Rocket Queen, Whole Lotta Rosie, You Could Be Mine, Slash Guitar Solo, Sweet Child of Mine, Wichita Lineman, I Want to Be Your Dog, Absurd, Hard School, November Rain, Civil War, Knocking on Heaven's Door, Night Train, Coma, Patience, Don't Cry, and they end on Paradise City, as they usually do. I tell you, I've never been to a live Guns N' Roses show, but I have been a guest on a Guns N' Roses podcast before. <laughs> yes, you can search for that. It exists. It's weird, but I did it. I'm sick, sick, sick of these effing drones. Hey, 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 yeah. Sick, sick, sick of these effing drones. Ooh. Yay! Why, thank you. Thank you for spending some time with the Weird AF News podcast this afternoon or the evening, or whenever this is, that you're enjoying this. Perhaps you're having a sippy sip of some cold brew. <laughs> a very nice way to take it in, in my opinion. Oh, yes. <laughs> evil, evil. You guys are probably thinking, what a strange episode, Jonesy. You did a Guns N' Roses episode? Well, the stars kind of aligned, you know? Two people sent me Guns N' Roses articles, and then what I... When I went digging around for the usual weird stories that I do on Monday morning, I found another Guns N' Roses story that was also fairly recent. So I'm like, let me do a Guns N' Roses episode. I mean, how many opportunities am I going to have in life where three Guns N' Roses stories hit me in the same day? So this was it, guys. Plus, it gave me an opportunity to sing really poorly. So I hope you enjoyed that. And it probably gives me an opportunity to get sued by Guns N' Roses for doing a Guns N' Roses episode. Yeah, Guns N' Roses would like to let you know we're not affiliated with Weird AF News Podcast, all right? We would never be affiliated with such a crappy, recorded-in-the-closet podcast. This is below us. <laughs> all right, anyways, I want to give thanks and praise now. Why not? Let's give thanks and praise. Jonesy bought me some more coffees. Jonesy, the other Jonesy. Jonesy wrote me a note, too. Happy holidays. Go get a cold brew. Yes, yes. I shall get a cold brew. A second one. I've already had one. So big shout out to Jonesy. Friend of the podcast has purchased coffees for me before. Also, uh, Grace Delfenbach wrote me a nice review on Spotify as well. Uh, so that was pretty sweet. I guess Spotify allows you to write reviews, but only on single episodes, which is weird because they quickly disappear, especially if you do as many episodes as I do, which is like 1,500, guys. Yeah, I'm not trying to flex, but yeah, 1,500 episodes. Maybe my, on my 2,000th episode, I'll chuck my microphone into the, well, I don't have a crowd. Maybe I'll throw it into the corner of the closet. <laughs> what do you think? How about I mail my microphone to a listener after 2,000 episodes? That's what I'll do. I'll hold a raffle for the microphone. Well, uh, lastly, I'll just say, if you'd like to support the show, please tell a friend about Weird AF News. Uh, if it's a friend that really likes Guns N' Roses, you might want to share this episode with them. That'd be pretty cool. But then they might think that every episode's about Guns N' Roses. Oh, bro, I love that Guns N' Roses news podcast that you sent me. Is that daily or, like, weekly? What is that? I mean, I've got to keep up on my Guns N' Roses news, man. Um, if you want to support the show because you uh, had a sudden windfall which means an influx of unexpected money, perhaps. You can do so by joining the Patreon, patreon.com slash weirdafnews. Or go to weirdafnews.com and click on the Patreon banner, or click on Buy Jonesy a Coffee, and then you can be like the other Jonesy and buy me coffee and write me a little love note if you'd like. If you want to mail me anything, mail me anything. If you want to email me, it's funnyjones at gmail.com. You can actually mail me something if you'd like for the holidays. I'll give you my address. Drop me an email. All right, guys, have a lovely time.